Hello everyone, Spooky Gamer here, and welcome to Let's Play of Sinister Halloween, the demo. Now, I don't know much about this game aside from it being Halloween themed, but it looks pretty cool. And so on Steam, so don't check it out. So with that said, let's get into it. Alright, let's go to campaign mode. Also, I played a little bit of this game already, and apparently, you can only play Abandoned House. These other um, places are locked. See? Locked. Alright. Abandoned house. It looks kind of good. Boys, let's just go to the party. Come on. Fine, I will wait here. What do you say? I can go to a party. Oh, flashlight. Toggle F button for flashlight. The flashlight will illuminate dark areas. That's good to know. Not scary. Greetings. Alright, prefer to be alone these days. I feel as if I have no energy left within me. I spend the days, months, and even years now just breathing, which feels nice. I rest on your porch, rocking in my chair. This causes a light sense of blood flowing through my veins. I watch as the children, full of energy, excited, running around, heading towards the forest to play with their new found curiosity, urging them to search for the unknown deep within. I miss that beautiful spark of life, the energy flowing through my veins, feeding those pleasurable sensations in your veins, or skin. Uh oh! Someone's in there! What's over here? I don't know, but let me find a way inside. <laughs> All right, so it's apparently funny. I could go on, but I begin to feel a sense of furious anger overcome me. I quickly focus back to the negative. I can't help it anymore. I should seek medical help. I am old now. What can the doctor do for me? Give me pills to alter these thoughts? Perhaps. But at what cost? The side effects which seem mild when young are unbearable these days. My husband has completed this phase of neglecting me. He does not even feel anything around me anymore. It used to be hatred, despise, regret of, of marrying me, a life full of potential held back for, for me. I love him so much. That doesn't sound good. That's kind of cool though. Nothing apparently, I'm just looking around. Trick or treat. We know you're in there. Thanks. A lot of stuff is going on. More than I expect for this game. Some kind of mask.
こで Miss. The walls are ripped apart. The floor peeled off. The furniture removed. My thing is gone. I think he has finally lost it. Suddenly he's changing our home. Why is he doing this? Where does this come from? I truly feel for where this might be going. Perhaps he is venting his anger, but then he's is calm, cold, calculating, as if he's in a trance. He removed most of our stuff. The house looks empty. Maybe he is renovating or looking for something. Oh my. Is he going to sell the house? Where we live? I have no clue. Where'd I go? Okay, in here. Shotgun. Shotgun can be used to destroy highlighted objects in the environment. That's good to know. Costume sales sword this Halloween. Pick up your sexy and scary outfits today. Amazing selections imported from all over the world. This place is creepy. Oh crap! That's a shotgun, my deal. But I can't open it because it's locked. Oh, crap. Dead crow. Let's go trick or treating. Oh, I love your costume. My husband is going insane. He isn't bringing home food anymore. I need to call someone for help before we run out. He paces back and forth down the halls as if watching to, to a rhythm. His eyes focus on something within his imagination. Sweating, shaking, and gasping for air. He hasn't spoken to me in weeks. Not a single word. I am too weak for this, terrified and unable to escape. Yet, I rely on him. He, feed, he feeds me like a pet. I dare not look at him. I cannot recognize his eyes anymore. Oh, that's that's bad. Treat somebody like a pet? I'm not even feeding them. That's horrible. the need to write about these ongoing experiences I'm having. These recent migraines, severe, paralyzing, they seem to get worse every time he walks in. My head is pounding. I feel nausea, dizzy, disoriented. My husband shows no feeling for me anymore. He just sits there with me and observes my struggle. I might be delusional. I feel as if he is enjoying watching me like this. I'm not sure if I'm catching him, smirking in the corner of my eye. Could my love poison me? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, if he's watching you that's um, struggling and stuff, that's not a good sign. Oh, crap, this is kind of scary. Boom! <laughs> 
Really? He seems to be occupied with something downstairs. He disappeared for days. I'm not sure if he leaves the house. I cannot hear him very I cannot hear very well anymore. He only comes up to feed me. I am unable to use the bathroom. The bed is dirty. I need help. He won't answer my plea to call the government for support. I am not I'm too weak for to fear him anymore. The migraines are constant. I have come to a point I must accept my fate. This is the end. I'd rather be gone. He is keeping me alive like a rat in a cage, torturing me. He enjoys watching me suffer. I see it now. That's bad. That's pretty bad. Need the shotgun upstairs to break the planks so I can get out of here. Alright. I need to get the shotgun? Found a dead body. It's weird. Uh oh, don't tell me twice. I need to get out. I want to shoot a with my ammo. That was campaign. That was actually pretty good for a demo. So let's um let's check out survival mode. Right. Alright, so we can go to the slide house. That's cool. That's some kind of cornfield. There you go, buddy. There you go. Sit your butt down. Suck. 
I gotta remember to keep my gun reloaded. Cause I got in, I end up getting hit. Cause I ran out of bullets. There you go. I can't. Gruesome. Let me just close that because I want to. Oh, well, you should have chopped it anyway. Let me just avoid that. I did a card. Over here. Fun though. I mean, for a short demo, it's actually pretty fun. I have called the police. The average time from dispatch call to arrival on scene for the local law enforcement is approximately. Oh, that's bad. Our call got interrupted. Hey, buddy. Slow day. I got another gun. All right. Got you. That's good. Very powerful. Run towards that. There you go. Pretty good this game. Oh, 
Alright. Can I go over here? Hold position. Oh, here he comes. Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, exit. That was Sins of Halloween. It was pretty good for a short little demo. I might actually end up playing the full game. Um, probably not this. Probably not this year. I might end up playing like next Halloween. Like I might, I might end up just like playing the whole game. Cause this was actually pretty fun. Definitely a uh, somewhat scary game, but it was mixed with a little bit of shooting. Still, I pretty, I liked it. It was, it was pretty fun. Definitely a Halloween themed game, and the fact is that it's got like um, two campaigns that's already open for like the, um, the demo. I kind of wonder what the other, the, the other um, modes are, or like, because they got like a few for survival, and they got a few for campaign, and I really want to check them out, but I'll probably leave that for like the next Halloween. Who knows? If y'all like this video enough, I might end up like making another video this year but if not I might end up saving it for like next Halloween so uh, anyway yeah with that said if you like the video leave a like and subscribe for they can play content stay spoopy I'll catch you guys next time later guys